Been a bit of a rocky start, this. Hello everyone, welcome back to Fairly Determined FM with me, my name is Chris. I hope you're all doing well. Since we last met, the Barcelona game, the very good Barcelona game, which we won with, with a late penalty, we've, um, yeah, I mean, you can see, it's it's not been, it's not been a perfect start. <laughs> we went on to lose 2-1 to Ibar in the very next game, a bloody late 91st minute winner there. Sergi Segara getting himself sent off just before half-time at the git. Uh, we got off to a good start in that game with Borja Rosa scoring in the sixth minute, but then yeah, it all went it all went a bit wrong. Followed that up with a 2-1 win against Vigo. Marcus Rashford getting his first league goal for us. Very happy to see that. Uh, Getafe followed. That was a 1-0 win. And then Shakhtar. Unbelievable Shakhtar. So we drew in the Champions League. We drew uh, Salzburg, Milan and Shakhtar. And I thought, right, we can, we've got a chance of getting out of that group. Shakhtar destroyed us. Absolutely destroyed us. 3-0. And you look at the uh, you look at the ratings. Nobody performed well except for Ramon, who, uh, Arch, 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 Archie. Uh, yeah, 6.8 from him, but everyone else, 6.5 and lower. Anyone on a 6.4 and lower got a fine, and nobody complained about it, which means they know. They know. But Valencia were next up, and we destroyed Valencia. That was a really good game. 4 1 in the end, it finished with, I'll show you in a second, an incredible goal from Angelo. And then Valladolid, 2 1, 75th minute penalty. Yeah, it's just been a bit up and down i don't know what it is um i've ditched the 442 pretty quickly we weren't performing how i wanted us to perform i like that controlled possession style game and the 442 wasn't doing that for us so i switched to the 4231 that we were using at napoli with some slight tweaks we're not uh attacking from the off well, i've lowered the, the defensive line because the uh the pace we have in this team is not very good and that's more or less it i've taken off work ball into box as well rash was playing as a complete forward alfredo is a deep line playmaker on support rather than a ball winner that was in the napoli system so, so I was going to show you, and this is it. This is the goal that Angelo scored in the 4-1 win against Valencia. Angelo is here. Just keep an eye on him. It's, it's such a good goal. Ravello tries to play him through. Sly tackle comes in. Angelo picks up the ball. And then, oh, just unbelievable goal. Absolutely unbelievable. We've got Atletico Pamplona in the league. Um, they are 19th at the moment. That should be, should be a reasonably easy win. And then Milan, who are probably the toughest team in our group aside from us, before we get into the game, you'll recognise a name on this team list now. Xavi Chirivella has joined us on loan from Liverpool. I wanted another left-back, a natural left-back, who I knew, <laughs> and I remembered Chirivella. He was great. I, he, was, he was one sort of shining light of that six months at Liverpool. He spent the previous season on loan at Aberdeen. Um... Yeah, Liverpool don't seem to rate him very much. I I thought he was really good. I thought he was good. I liked him. So he's he's joined us. We have had some more outs as well, actually. Uh, Benjamin Pavard to Losk for five hundred thousand. He um yeah he wanted to go and thirty six years old. He wasn't really going to be featuring too much for me. Um so yeah off he went. He got seventy odd grand off the wage budget as well. And there's a pending uh, transfer as well of Yasser Espria. It's a little bit annoying because I wanted him as sort of a backup winger. He was, he's a good player. Like, you look at his attributes, he's a good player. But he wasn't getting enough game time and he was trying to force himself into the Colombian national team and it wasn't going to happen with us. So uh, he wanted to go. And I ended up in a bit of a bidding war. Started at 12 million from Shakhtar, funnily enough, and I managed to get Sporting up to 16 million. Um, and off he goes. So he's he's with us until January and then he's leaving. And that 16, I think 11 million of that is going into our into our transfer but 14 million of that is going into our transfer budget we've had to make a fair few changes because a lot of our players are a little, we've had a, 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 a big run of games a fair, a fair few of our players are a little bit unfit so we're bringing in um pedersen uh, right back barisic and flight uh, uh, um uh, the center backs for this one shirivella Char is staying out on the left because the other options we've got are also pretty tied um lamar's starting at right wing arca is starting at left wing rashford up top um and then alfredo torre and uh, Ravello make up the rest of the team. Three shots and none on target. See, this is a problem. I might need to dig into the data hub in a bit because our attacking threat is is pretty poor. Over the over the games that I've seen, or rather over the games that I've managed, we're either having loads of shots and none on target, or no shots and like or very few shots and none on target. We're basically unable to get shots on target, and it's really, really annoying. Because we've we've got quality in this team, like they finished second in the league last season, and we've not really made too many changes to the personnel or anything like that. So it's uh, Rashford's in, Rashford, oh wide, um, yeah, we've um not really made too many changes to the team. Eight shots, two on target. I mean, that's not not what you want. Sixty one percent of the possession, which is what we want, but we're unable to uh to do anything in the attacking third. 
And looking at the average positions, Rashford might be a bit isolated here. I feel like we need to get uh, Ravello further up the pitch. We might switch that up. We might switch Ravello's roll up a little bit to be more of an attacking midfielder on attack. And then Arca can actually play as a winger on support because Arca can cross the ball and he's left footed. So maybe that's the solution. We'll have a winger on the left, an inside forward on the right in Lamar, and then Ravello as an attacking midfielder on attack. So they sort of push him further forward. Yeah, let's give that a whirl. Let's give that a whirl. You can see how tired the team is as well. We've just had a lot of games. We've had a lot of games in a short amount of time. Make a change. We'll bring off Lamar because he's, he's a bit... He's old and he's 36. He's old. He's not performing pretty, uh, very well. And Alfredo also on that yellow. I'm really worried about Alfredo picking up a book, another booking. So I am going to take him off. And we're going to have Abid on instead. Barisic, Flytus. Flytus has been pretty good. I've been enjoying him. He's a, he's a, I think he's been a decent signing. Arca out on this left-hand side in that winger. Roll, gets the cross in. Amir at the back. Oh, it's just over. See, that's good. That's better. And Plona on the ball. Munoz out on the left-hand side. Mika Marmol. Uh, and Money Cola? Money Cola? Moncaola. Good tackle. What a tackle that was. Rashford. Back to Ravello. Is Arca. Back to Shivarivella. It's Pedersen. He's unmarked out on that right-hand side. Can he get the cross in? Pedersen can. Amir to Abid. Arca, someone shoot. Oh, Amir, get in. Come on. Yes. God, what was all that fart arsing around with all the little passes? Let's have a shot. Went in eventually. God, blimey. Good pass here from Pedersen into Amir. He finds Abid to Arca, who does eventually have a shot, and it comes off. Keeper doesn't quite get to the rebound. Well, didn't get anywhere near the rebound, but Amir did. Good. It's better. Right, we've scored a goal. Rashford. Oh, not quite. Pedersen to Abid. Edison again, Abid, Barisic, plays it into Torre, his Ravello, his Arca, go on, make it two, come on, get in, right, it's not often we've had a two goal cushion in this game, uh, well in this league rather, beautiful, oh, I've hit the mic, beautiful stuff, Barisic, finds Re Torre rather, and his Ravello, who plays it into Arca, and Arca, I thought he'd taken one touch too many there, but he hadn't, good stuff, Arca is a very good player to be fair. And Plona on the ball again. We're going to get a tackle in. Saguara on the right hand side. Gale They've got so many names I can't pronounce. Iglesias is in. Really should have scored then. Really, really should have scored. I feel like those changes we've made have really done wonders for our for our uh, shots and XG and stuff. When we finished the first half, we were eight and two. We're now nineteen and ten. Um, I feel like the changes have really helped us. Arca swings his balls in. Flightus is that a penalty? I think that's a penalty. We've got some tired players, though. I've got a sub left and I haven't used it. So I've got some tired players. What an idiot. Penalty's been awarded while I've been ravaging on. I think Ark is going to take this. Yep. For his second goal of the game. Scores. Yes. 3-0. That's a good win. It's a good win. It is, it is Pamplona, but it's a good win. Oh, this chair makes so much noise. Can you hear that? 3-0. Yes. Look at that. Rashford. On a 6.7, Rashford, oh, is, is this going to be, is that going to turn out to be a bit of a mistake, like signing a 34-year-old Rashford? Looking at the pass map for, for Milan's last game, funnily enough, against Napoli, it looks like a lot of their work goes out through this, this right-hand side. So it's going to be Otskas and uh, whoever the number eight is, Zaniolo, Weston McKenney. They, they all seem to sort of work out there. So what we're going to do is on our left-hand side for this game, we're going to set Shiro, Shiro, I've set Shirovella to be a defensive player. And I'm going to have Mar Arca mark uh, their defender on the right. And Shirovella is going to mark their attacking midfielder, Damsgaard, on the right. And I think, like, hopefully, we'll, we'll not, like, we're going to try and nullify that left-hand flank for their right-hand flank. Team-wise, we've got Fatty and Goal, Shirovella, Eli, Flytus, and Pedersen at the back. Torre and Alfredo in the middle, as always. Arca, Ravello, Emir making that attacking trio in the middle. And then Rosa in place of Rashford because he's, he's 34, he's tired, and he's not been playing particularly well. He's only scored one goal, whereas Rosa has got four. So hopefully, hopefully, we'll come out of this with a bit of a victory. A bit of a victory? Sorry, it's early in the morning. I haven't to record early in the morning at the moment because it's too hot in my office to do it in the evening. My office is only, you know, not much bigger than what you can see on the screen. And uh, yeah. It gets hot in here by, by about four o'clock in the afternoon. So, um, yeah, 
early morning records, which means I'm not fully awake. And um, I'm a little bit a little bit out of sorts, if I'm honest. A little bit tired. <laughs> a little bit tired. It's not an excuse. You'd be better, Bajan. You'd be better. 15 minutes gone and nothing happening. Oh, here we go. Shiver Ravella on the ball on the left hand side. Arca plays in Ravello. Go on, Ravello. Go on, Ravello. Manyan. Manyan with a very good stop. Very good stop. Half time and that's it. Blimey. Not much to speak of. <laughs> not much to write home about. Uh, praise, praise is justified. Right, let's. Um, Rose is not having a good game. So we'll give, we'll give Rashford 45. And also Ravello's not having a very good game, so we're going to have Arvid 45 out there as well. We're going to go positive. We're going to see if we can stamp our foot, stamp our foot, put our, put our stamp on this game a little bit more. Highlight straight from uh, half time. Milan are on the ball to Mori, plays it into Berg, and knocking around at the back. A bit risky. Blythus wins that ball though. Arvid on it, finds Arco, finds Rashford. Rashford on at half time. 1 0, Marcus Rashford. What a goal that was. Brilliantly won in defence and then really quickly transitions up the pitch. Rashford puts it into the back of the net. So you see Flight is winning that header. Abid plays it into Arca. Arca plays it into Rashford. Beautiful stuff. And then, oh, so, like, Arca and Rashford, one touch football there. Beautiful. Mwah, chef's kiss. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. I'm going to praise the boys. And that, wow, look at that group. Everyone on three points, as it sounds. So that means uh, Salzburg must be beating Shakhtar. Alfredo to Angelo. Rashford out on this left-hand side. Rashford at that complete forward role means he's going to find little pockets of space that he can work in as well, which is really good. So he might not have the pace. Angelo, 2-0, come on! He might not have the pace to beat players, but he can make a nuisance of himself with his positioning and his off-the-ball movement. Oh, oh yes, yes, right. To light little tweaks to the tactic and the right personnel. And all of a sudden, we are purring. My black outline is also purring over there. Good goal. Good, good goal. The two boys who came on at half time have both scored. See, Milan, you can have more of the ball, but it's what you do with it. It is what you do with it. I'm going to start wasting a bit of time. 75 minutes gone. That seems to be the stand. Yeah, Salzburg must be beating Shakhtar. Where are we? Yeah, 3 0. Blimey. Blimey. 4 0. Mikey, Mikey. 88 minutes on the clock. I think we're going to run out 2 0 winners in this game as well. Much, much better from us. Much better from us. You've only seen us win. I've seen us play really, really badly. But that. That was brilliant. Well done. I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, and you can see, okay, so we didn't look at it in the last game, but you can see the average positions at the end of this game. That change that we made for that attacking midfielder role means that he's no longer sort of occupying these same spots. I might have to look at uh, a more advanced role for, uh, for whoever's playing out on the right, like Angelo, because we do put a lot of the ball out that way. But yeah, that's much better. Much, much better from us. I reckon I'm going to play through October and then we'll come back for the two games that start in November, Salzburg and Real San Sebastian. Oh my God, I've just seen that. We've got Madrid, we've got Barcelona at Madrid and then Barcelona again. What a horrible run of games that is. That will probably be an episode as well. <laughs> right. I will see you very, very soon for I'll be Salzburg and Real San Sebastian. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.